and Stuart Kedden head back again with Pirates TV. And with me, man of the match, Daniel Abercrombie. Daniel, congratulations, mate. Uh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on, your debut night, four goals, one of my penalty shot, who cares? It's still a goal. Uh, it was pretty easy. The boys played well, which made it easy for, them, uh, for me. I was getting in positions. Boys were fantastic. It was a good win. A really strong win against a good Kirkcaldy Kestrels team. Definitely. I was going to ask you how you thought you fitted into the team, but I think tonight's performance really kind of belays that, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, well, I grew up with most, most of the boys playing through juniors as well, so it's easy to get along with people I've grown up with as well. So it's good. It's fun. I'm enjoying it. Glad to see you enjoying it, mate. Thanks very much. Right, thank you. Stuart Hayden here again once again for Pirates TV, and with me I have Rhys from the Kirkcaldy Kestrels. Rhys, a bit disappointing the result tonight? Uh, yeah, a wee bit. It's, it's always hard coming here, playing against a strong side like Paisley. Uh, you've just got to work hard and see what comes out of it. So it was kind of disheartening, but we got there in the end. It's just got to work hard, see what comes out of it. I think the netminder John Russell kind of kept his out of the game in the first kind of 10 minutes of the first period. Yeah, he played really well. He was getting some lucky saves as well. He's just, like, he's a good goalie, he's big. He's just, he's getting all these saves, moving about well, so he kept them in it, yeah. Well, congratulations on your Man of the Match award, mate. I won't keep you any longer. Thank Thanks very much. much. And I'm back here with coach Ian Turley. Ian, your thoughts on tonight's game? I thought it was a, it was a good performance. Um, I think the, the first Kestrels came out hard, probably after... Last, the result last weekend, you know, obviously they they were looking for a, you know, to step up big tonight, um, and they certainly pushed us in the first period. There's no doubt about that. Um, you know, hockey's about momentum, and I think when it came into the second, and we got a couple of bounces, penalty shot, and then you know we we, we kind of started rolling. You know, so I'm, I'm I'm really happy with that. And I've got to ask about a new guy, Daniel Abercrombie. Your thoughts on his performance tonight? Ah, he's definitely. Um, you know, he's going to be a real good addition to the team. Um, Myself and Adam are really happy to have him. I, we spoke to him earlier in the year, um, but things weren't just quite right for him. But um, I think we, we both, myself, Adam and Daniel, um, now think that this is probably a good environment where he's going to en enjoy his hockey. You know, and I think if you're, if obviously you're enjoying your hockey, he's only been here for a week, um, then you know you're going to start producing. And I think he fits, he fits right into the team. Um, my only disappointment is I think that he's wearing the number 16 shirt now. And, I think there's, there's there's more points in that game than what I had in the whole the whole time I've worn it. So, but that's positive. I did say it was a good shot, you know. So, certainly it appears to have been. In. Are you sorry to give up your number? No, absolutely not. Um, that's that's it. that was it's a spare shot, you know. I don't I don't play. There's I don't play for the reason that there's there's better there's better people playing. You know, my my strengths are hopefully in the coaching department. So, um, I think Daniel's number's seven. So I was trying to tell him it's just one plus six. So and it's that's seven. You know, so that's seven in his head. So I think that no, but we're, we're delighted to have him. Um, he's going to be a real good addition. I think you've seen obviously tonight and the reaction he got from the, the fans as well. Um, I'm pretty sure he's going to be a favourite. You know, and hopefully he's going to be here for the long term. Yeah. I'd just like to ask you about John Russell's performance, particularly in the first period. He really shut the Kestrels down. Oh, I mean, that's a John at times made the right saves at the right time, um, and it's always about that. You know, it doesn't matter. If you receive five shots or 15 shots, whether you're making the right saves at the right time, and certainly for that first period, John John kept us in the game. You know, we were kind of on the back foot, we were flat. He definitely kept us in the game. Um, I think if if maybe Daniel hadn't smashed in the goals, that was another valiant man in match performance. Certainly for John as well. You know, just pick pick one of the one of the two. But John's an experienced guy. You know, he knows his he knows his role, um, and I'm you know he within his own head, I'm pretty sure he'd be happy with his performance. Okay. Thanks very much, Shane. Thanks, Thanks once very again. Much. Cheers.